The sewage outflow from Nut Island was pegged by the EPA study as a major contributor to the pollution of Quincy Bay. The study also disclosed that 83% of flounder caught in the bay had gross or micro... The Boston Harbor cleanup represents one of the largest public works projects ever undertaken in New England. Once considered the dirtiest harbor in America, today it's recognized as one of America's greatest environmental achievements. When we started the Harper cleanup, this water was so filthy that no one wanted to be down here. People in Boston didn't seem to care that much about it. They just accepted it. That was what the harbor was supposed to be like. In 1973, following the passage of the federal water pollution control amendments, the League of Women Voters hoped to work towards getting the uh, harbor clean enough for their children's generation to swim in the water. And they went out to the business community to see if they all wanted to work together. And ironically, not one business group at the time could envision that this waterfront would be clean enough for children to swim in. For generations, we've been cut off from the harbor. In essence, the harbor was surrounded by brown fields and abandoned parking lots, um, was polluted to the point where it was not just unsafe, but it was fairly unpleasant um, to be near or on. Um, on some days, um, it would go anoxic, and everything that couldn't flee died. Um, so our job at first, in the early years, was to create a constituency um, to uh, cherish, use, enjoy, and, um, and help us. Um, protect the harbor. By the mid-1980s, Boston Harbor had become the dirtiest harbor in the United States. For more than a century, the daily waste from Boston and 43 surrounding communities went virtually untreated before being dumped into the harbor. Uh, when I was a kid, the, we were always told if you ever fell in the water, you, were, you needed to get a tetanus shot. Finally, in 1985, EPA joined the Conservation Law Foundation, the City of Quincy, and the Town of Winthrop in a federal lawsuit seeking compliance with the Clean Water Act. EPA was then charged by the court to cooperate in and ensure the expeditious design, funding, and construction of the necessary facilities to clean up Boston Harbor. Judge Mazzoni was a remarkable man, and his decision that the law secures to the people the right to a clean harbor, that decision, his very first order in the Harbor case, made everything else that we've accomplished here possible. Judge Mazzoni called that part of the way that the Boston, Greater Boston managed its sewage system the most incomprehensible um, aspect uh, of the whole thing, whereby they treated the wastewater, collected, you know, took out and collected the sludge and then dumped it back into the harbor on the outgoing tide. That was the, the innovation that they had adopted. You know, these problems weren't, weren't new, people knew of them, but they just didn't have the political will to solve them until we and others pushed the enforcement case and the court insisted upon compliance with the law. The court ordered the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to transfer responsibility for sewage management to the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority, the MWRA. When the authority was created, they inherited an antiquated, rundown, ineffective sewer system from a state agency that had been neglected for many years. And there were a number of key components to, to this project moving forward. The sewer system in Boston was actually built as two separate systems, a north system and a south system. That required that the tunnel be bored underneath Boston Harbor to bring the flows from south and west of the city over here to the Deer Island treatment plant. Obviously, the construction of the, the flagship here, the Deer Island Treatment Plant, is, was critical to this. Another key milestone was the elimination of the sludge being flushed into the harbor and a pellet plant being constructed down in Quincy so that the solids, were, if you will, were taken out of the flow and are now made into pellets uh, that are used as fertilizer. And then the final big piece was the outfall tunnel, which was uh, one of the longest single entrance tunnels ever dug in the history of this country and that allows us to release the treated effluent nine and a half miles out in Massachusetts Bay. This was a huge construction project that had many, many challenges. Very difficult, dangerous, hard work, deep rock tunnels. It took a lot of, of blood, sweat, and tears for the folks who were actually out here. Many obstacles threatened to stall the project. The massive plant cost billions of dollars and ratepayers protested their increasing sewer bills. Citizens worried the discharge outfall was still too close to Boston, while others argued it was too close to the Cape and might impact marine life. 
So we had community impacts, social impacts on the communities, we had environmental impacts, we had economics, and it was really difficult to try to figure out how you could optimize for all of that. The project involved hundreds of individual construction projects and every one of those had its own complications. And just knowing that there were that many people out there working on this project was just a great feeling. It wasn't any more that EPA was in this alone. We actually had thousands of people working to clean up the harbor. As soon as the sludge stopped being dumped, you could almost see the difference in terms of water clarity. And then later in 2000, uh, I was there at the ceremony where uh, Judge Mazon and a worker from the construction opened up the new outfall. So that was uh, a very good feeling for us. The harbor restoration didn't end with the building of the Deer Island treatment plant. Since 2005, the EPA has stayed involved and the MWRA has tackled projects to eliminate the combined sewer overflows that occur during rainstorms. The difference in the harbor is palpable. I think about it this way. I like to go to uh, Red Sox games at Fenway Park where we sing along with I love that dirty water and it's a lot of fun but it's not who we are anymore. It is not how anybody would think about the harbor anymore. People can swim and fish again in the harbor where they couldn't before. I think the cleanup really changed the way we feel about this city and helped us to really take pride again in where we live. In this case, the cleanup of Boston Harbor is one of the most scientifically studied uh, projects in the history of this country. And the empirical data is very, very clear. The project has worked, the modeling used was accurate, and that the, there is no negative impact on the Cape or the North Shore or anywhere. The water quality is great, and the, the harbor is rejuvenating itself. We're seeing return of a lot of sensitive marine species to areas of the harbor that at one time was considered some of the most contaminated spots. Now we see everything from small fish sticklebacks to uh, large predators like sand tiger sharks and, um, and just about everything in between. So it's just a wonderful story of recovery and hope. You know, we have a clean harbor. It has become the engine for economic development along the entire waterfront area. And we're all of a sudden getting this critical mass of mixes of residential, commercial uses, cultural institutions, all coming to the waterfront. I think if you had said to anyone 20 years ago, would you have those type of prestigious firms down here? I think people would say, you're crazy. You want to do something big, you need incredible persistence. We had to persist in the face of hundreds of obstacles and we couldn't stop after overcoming the 10th one or the 40th one. We had to be ready to go all the way to the end and to meet every challenge as it came. The incredible thing about it is that we succeeded and the water is clean. And if we can clean up Boston Harbor, we can clean up anything. I think that our generation uh, will be looked at as the visionaries by our children and our grandchildren's generations who will say, you know, they paid a heavy price in terms of cleaning up this harbor, but my goodness, what they have left for our generation. <laughs>